Hi, I'm Joyce Mashinsky. I'm the conservation ecologist here at Fairchild, and I'm going to tell you about the key tree cactus. The federally endangered key tree cactus populations in the Florida Keys have experienced sharp decline in recent years. The South Florida Conservation Team at Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden surveyed and mapped the wild populations of key tree cactus in 2006 through 2009. Sadly, in the lower keys, the populations have declined drastically, while in the middle and upper keys, populations are stable. High soil salinity is associated with plant mortality in the lower keys, which is probably due to hurricane storm surge and sea level rise. Fairchild is taking steps necessary to ensure this rare beauty is not lost forever. Developing an ex situ collection is just one way the team intends to prevent extinction and work toward recovery of the species. With permission from both private and public landowners, Fairchild biologists make a yearly trek to the Keys to collect ripe seeds and stem cuttings. The collected material is brought back to the nursery where it is accessioned, a way to catalog a live collection, and added to the permanent living collection at Fairchild. Each collection is given a unique accession number. Once the key tree cactus seeds are accessioned, they generally start their lives in the propagation greenhouse. This house offers warmth, moisture, and shade, nearly perfect conditions for germination of seeds. Once germinated, the seedlings are ready for larger pots, some nutrients, and a new growing location, and a specific watering regime. The cactus seedlings will remain in the nursery for several growing seasons giving them opportunity to grow into healthy, well-developed plants, ready to return to wild habitat. Most of the key tree cactus will return home to the Florida Keys. Working with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, Fairchild scientists are seeking appropriate new homes for these plants. Measurements we have taken in the wild populations have given us some clues about why the species has suffered great mortality in the lower keys. These insights will help us determine which areas are best suited for the reintroduction of this species. With continued commitment by Fairchild and the government agencies, the key tree cactus has a brighter future.